are not a gift, but a curse. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Box Office Quarterbacks. I'm Gerald Tracy and I am actually alone today. This one will be very quick. We're just going to do a non-spoiler review for Black Adam. So thank you for joining us. And um, as you all know, the review embargo was lifted for this movie about a day before it actually came out. And since critics absolutely tore this movie shred for shred. And while technically I'm a critic, I'm here to tell you don't freaking listen to them. Because... um. It took less than 24 hours for the audience to actually decide they liked it as Rotten Tomatoes showed it with a 90% fan rating after less than 24 hours as I just mentioned. Now let's start with the big question, The Rock. Is he actually good in this movie? And to be frank, I thoroughly enjoyed him in this. This story was good and definitely was not The Rock we are used to, though you can see that man in here from time to time. Um, I guess we can put it this way, you're not getting the Tooth Fairy um, at all. <laughs> you're also not getting an award-winning oscar-winning performance from the rock by any means but i enjoyed him for what it was it's great that he truly felt all powerful um you know sometimes you get those characters i mean i love spider-man but if you told me tom holland was an all-powerful character in the mcu i might not believe you he just doesn't look it he doesn't play it um black black adam in this movie very much so so i was definitely very enjoyed it that much of it um continuing in the casting and the character choice the jsa was fan fucking tastic um it was truly a fun group not one character in the jsa annoyed me um the best part is pierce Bosma brosnan as dr fate he truly brought this character to life and for me dr fate is one of my favorite dc animated um characters so to see him in real life and to see some of his powers it was great the only problem with him is that they did try to make his his powers do look similar to dr strange very similar um so you will see some of that but when it comes to magic i mean you really only have so many things you can make it look like right it's either gonna look like harry potter or it's gonna look like dr strange or it's gonna look something like that so you're gonna get that going in here so it's still very badass um quintessa swindle as cyclone and noah centineo as adam smasher also murdered it in their first appearance in the dceu um however their appearance and their existence um and then they acknowledging like um for instance dr fate is not acknowledged for being there for years you get an older jsa member cameo in this so the fact that they all exist raises a shit ton of questions in the dceu um for example batman acted like the flash and wonder woman and superman were all just like brand new inventions and metas are med meta humans are finally showing up in dceu but They've been there. The JSA has been there. And um, that's actually something I plan to get to a little bit longer in a special review board. <clears throat> Excuse me, a special review board post later this week. I'm going to keep going further. This story really is about a father who unwillingly became a martyr slash hero slash anti-hero and um, is still kind of not wanting to be that. You know, he's fully aware that he has his power and that nobody can stop him, but he doesn't want to do anything with it. He just wants to be left the hell alone. And it also has a deeper root into in me what it means to be a hero as a whole. And we even get some interesting political stuff. Like, for example, um, this is non-spoiler, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but there is a conversation had from a character with the JSA character asking, you know, my country has been under just the oppressor's thumb for centuries. And we finally get our hero. We finally get this guy who's willing to stand up to those oppressors. And you want to come and stop him now? Like what? So it comes in. There's a lot of, there's a few political conversations like that, that I do th find. I, I find it world building and I find it better than just pow, pow. Um, that is a big thing about this. This movie is a lot of fighting and a lot of action. It would not be a rock movie without the action. It wouldn't be a superhero movie without the action. Um, but it does have interesting little things like this, little questions about like, you know, what about those? Um, it's a big world builder, you know? I mean, I think something the MCU falls into the trap and has been getting out of recently, but fell into the trap for the first 10 years of its existence was everything happened in fucking New York. Um, and the one time it didn't was, um, you know, the Sokovia Accords and everything. We're not going to get into it because it's a different universe. But um, to see the DCEU try to branch out to that, and I think doing it pretty well, is pretty good now i don't like i said i'm trying to stay out of spoilers so i don't want to talk too long about this film with y'all but i want you to know that you can go see this do not listen to the reviews it is going to be good it's going to be huge for the dceu should they keep it the way it is at the moment um stay for the post credit scene you'll get that and i'm going to go with um one of my favorite reviewers jeremy john said this movie is a hell of a lot of fun 
and welcome addition to the DCEU. No alcohol required. It's a hell of a time. Now, for the box office quarterbacks review standards, we're, of course, going to give this an all-star. Um, that's for me, though. D- Eric on HFLA is absolutely refusing to see this movie. Um, Ahmed is going to work on seeing it sometime this week. And Jeff, unfortunately, his wife was sick this past weekend. So, Jeff, hopefully Christina's feeling better. Um, I know you're probably editing this. Maybe it's Eric editing it. Who the hell knows? But thank you guys. And I can't wait to speak with them as we do a spoiler review. And again, I'm going to do a very special sometime this week, probably either on Monday and or Tuesday, review board. Spoil a little more spoilery, a little more like what the hell did we just watch type of review with this embedded. So I want you guys thoughts. Send us your tweets and your thoughts after you see the movie and then join us whenever we do the fully the full spoiler review with either Ahmed and Jeff or just Ahmed or just Jeff. Whichever one sees it first, we're doing it. Um until then, rewatch this episode about 15 to 20 more times. Wait for the Harley Quinn season three review to drop later this week. And then for Halloween, we will have a review for you guys to listen to as you're readying up for the trick-or-treaters and getting your suits up. We are doing a scary movie review. We'll let you know what movie it is later. Until next time, goodbye. Good night, Vienna. Go pokes and um screw Texas. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to our podcast and our YouTube or both and follow us on social media. For Jeff, Ahmed, and the rest of the crew, this has been Gerald. Go see Black Panther. The Rock is truly, I think, at his best in this film. Thank you guys for watching.